that money got me wearing fly girl but i ain't asking they say they love my ass and seven hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel my name is shay lamp this is your first time here and this is your first time here hi babes how are you doing oh, i'm coming to you guys with a bare face and you already know what that means if i have a bare face i'm doing a review and today i will be reviewing the fenty beauty foundation powder so this came out the day after christmas and i ordered it the day that it launched and i'm just not getting it yesterday so um usps and fenty counter days it's three things that I will be doing today. I will be doing a wear test probably for the minimum four to six hours. I'm going to be doing a flash test and I'm also going to be doing a max test because we're living in a pandemic and we need to know the T. We need to know if it's mask friendly or not. So let's get into the specs so the 50 beauty foundation powder it comes in 50 shades which is amazing because i never heard of a foundation powder coming in that many shades it has a matte finish it is medium buildable coverage it's supposed to be blurring crease resistant long wearing non cakey light as air no flashback reduced shine oil controlling heat and sweat resistant it doesn't have a transfer proof claim on the website, but however, normally with most powders, um, it doesn't really transfer much. It doesn't have a claim that it says it's not for dry skin, but we're going to test that out today because I have normal skin, but in the winter time, I tend to go normal to dry, especially around my cheek area. So we're going to be trying that out. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Hydration um, Primer and I'm just going to take a pump of that and I'm really going to work this in on my skin and it just smells so good it smells like baby lotion baby lotion I don't know <laughs> usually with powder foundations you do everything backwards meaning that you do your concealer your cream liquid contour your cream blushes first and then you put on the foundation powder and that could be a con to some people because you might not be used to doing stuff like that it might be a little bit intimidating but it's really easy to do so right now I'm just color correcting because foundation powders really do not cover up the hyperpigmentation when it comes to deeper skin complexions so we got to put in a little extra hard work work in which is fine with me i color correct anyway liquid powder foundation so that might be a miss for you but now i'm going to be using the fenty beauty pro filter concealer and this is in 410 and i'm just going to place the concealer everywhere i usually do i normally do so and most other products that I will be using is Fitzy Beauty, so love that. Cause Fenty brand is like their products are made to work with each other. So the final look, I'm hoping, will come out bomb. And I love this concealer because it is so creamy. Ugh. It just glides onto the skin. And by the way, I use the Fenty brow pencil too. <laughs> just had to put that out there. But I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. And while I'm letting that sit, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. And this is an espresso. And I want to use this to contour. Put a little bit of that on my five head. I'm just kidding. I really don't have a big forehead. Jawline and cheekbone. And I know this looks crazy right now, but when you blend it all out, it will look so much better because this looks a hot mess. <laughs>
And I'm just taking this concealer and I'm just going over it over my eyes because we're not doing much to the eyes today. Well, we're not doing anything to the eyes today, actually. I really want the focus to be on the skin today. Don't be afraid if your contour is looking a little too dark around wherever you placed it it's because you applied the contour on bare skin so it looks kind of harsh abrupt but when you put on the foundation it will you know tone down if you do feel kind of nervous about it you can take whatever is left over on your sponge when you blended the concealer out and just go over it with that not a fancy product but it's good, so I'm going to use it like it's Fenty. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Blush, and I forgot the shade name because e.l.f. wanted to not put the shade name on here, so I will Google it, put the name right up here on that screen for you, boo-boo. And I'm just placing down on the apples of my cheeks. I love this blush so much. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> and it just looks so good on dark complexion so it's time to now go in with the foundation powder so i picked up the shade 420 i am in that shade and the rest of the foundation line so i feel like this will be my shade because i'm 420 and everything else so <laughs> she comes in this cute little octagon shade this is so fancy aesthetic because like the powders the bronzers like they all come like this and it comes in this like clear soft white packaging um i'm not too wild about the packaging because or the white because it'll get dirty real quick and i like i mean like fenty like i just like their their whole thing and i don't want it to look all dirty and like i got foundation and concealer on it already like so when you first open it up it comes in this cute little mirror and the foundation powder and then you flip it up and it comes in a magnifying mirror and it comes with a sponge which i will not be using today because i don't use sponges when i use foundation powders but this will be cute for a little touch and go but i mean we have masks on anyway so so, in terms of foundation powders, you can use either a fluffy brush for light airbrush coverage, but if you want more coverage, you use a denser brush, tight bristles to pack it on to pat into the skin. Either or is fine, but my preference because I do have acne scars on these cheeks I am going to be using this because I'm nosy and I want to see what this coverage is really looking like I want to know if it's really medium to buildable coverage so I'm just going to pat 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 pat, pat my brush into this and then I'm just going to start from the bottom on up and I am going to zoom you guys in a little bit yeah get all into this <laughs> because I want you guys to see the coverage building up while I'm applying it there are some pros and cons when it comes to foundation powder one pro is is oil controlling which is amazing for oily skin it might not be the best thing for dry skin it's not messy at all because it's in this compact powder it won't be like spilling and moving around everywhere like how liquid foundations do some of the cons when it comes to foundation powder is you can sometimes get this powdery finish that um, nobody wants or likes it can be a little bit intimidating because it can have like flashback and stuff and nobody wants that we're not in 2016 anymore that's not cool 
And sometimes with powder foundations, you don't know where the foundation powder stops or ends. And that can sometimes kind of lead to the foundation powder skipping on your skin and leaving patchiness. And we don't want that at all. So as I am applying this, I do see the foundation covering up my acne scars a little bit. I can still see them peeking through, but it looks really natural and lightweight, so I like that. I'm just setting everywhere I put concealer at. Browse up my skin and act like I'm in Fiji somewhere, even though I'm in cold Michigan. <laughs> Just going to spray my face down. Even though my face does not look powdery, I just feel like I can't skip this step. Plus, I love this spray. Like, it just feels so good on the skin. <laughs> okay, guys, so here's the final look. It is currently 11.05 in the morning and I'm going to you know go about my day eat some breakfast and I have to go to physical therapy in a couple of hours so I will be doing the mass test and I will be posting my flash test somewhere on the screen might be a little later on in the video we'll see it's matching my chest the hands so a plus for that you know Fenty always come through with the good shades for the golden olive girls okay um it really looks skin like for a powder foundation I love it it just doesn't look powdery and wow like I'm just still kind of stunned so I will be checking in either before or after my appointment probably before then we're gonna do another check-in when I come back from my errands so I'm going to get dressed and I will see you guys in a couple hours hey guys I'm back it is currently 6 22 p.m. I just came back from physical therapy so this foundation has put in its work I think I applied it around like 10 30-ish so I'm going to talk about how I feel about the foundation so far like I've said in the beginning of the video I have normal to dry skin during this time of the year it tends more dry um, I did not feel like this was drying on the skin at all it felt really comfortable throughout the day I would touch my face and I'm like oh my gosh like I forgot I have makeup on let me quit touching my face um, it didn't cling to my dry patches it feels so lightweight and airy it does not feel like I have anything on at all which I really really like another thing that I did notice was I know I said in the beginning of the video that it looks like that it has a medium buildable coverage and that was one of the Fenty Beauty claims but as you can see um, my at big old acne scar right here on my cheek I'll even like replay the video back so you can see it covered a little bit but you can still see it peek, 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 peeking peeking through so um, I will just leave it as just a medium coverage period would I wear this foundation for its actual purpose I would have to say yes what I typically do with foundation powders is I set the rest of my face with a foundation powder to add a little bit more coverage but I really like this foundation powder it really like stood out versus all the other foundation powders that I do have which I really like I like the finish I like the coverage It's not crease proof it's not sweat proof because I was working out physical therapy and I ate today so like my smile lines hasn't peeked through it's really 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 lightweight I know I keep saying that but guys 
it is very lightweight you have like an exact hour how long you should wear it but for it being um 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 hours my face looks really good it has a nice healthy glow i know when the cleanse was it was supposed to reduce the shine and control oils i feel like the finish wasn't like a matte matte it was like a soft matte like a demi matte because i can still see some of the shine hence i did use a hydrating primer so that probably would be one of the reasons why the finish looks like this which is not a bad thing at all i did do a mask test of course because i went out the house and this is the mask that i used while i was at physical therapy and just to do it in front of you guys i'm going to take it off still nothing compared to my liquid foundation mask so I give this foundation overall a give it a B a solid B okay guys I'm going to close this video I am tired my lashes are off if you like this video if you like more videos like this make sure you click thumbs up subscribe comment down below if you picked up the fenty foundation what do you think about it and babes i will see you in my next video bye guys